good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Well, it's a wonderful sea of green here inside the 50,000-seater Estadio Jose Alvalade. A perfect setting for this greatest of clubs, Sporting Lisbon. Sporting have opted to go 3-4-3 by the looks of it here, Jim. Well, I always feel, Peter, that central midfield is a big area of responsibility in this system. It's not as easy for the front three to get behind the ball quickly if one of the wing-backs is, is pushed on. Then the boys in the engine room have serious cover to provide. So a lot of hard work has to go into this, and at times you can get stretched. But, boy, it can work at one end. So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man. And he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. That's clear cut, that's a free kick. Well, greetings everyone, and welcome to a match like no other. We'll call it their Classico. And I think these fixtures very often do turn out to be absolute classics. Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. So much talent on either side, it really turns out to be a damn squib. The fans certainly gearing up for what should be a pulsating encounter. The noise level here is off the charts. There is considerable hostility. The supporters right behind their teams, as they will be from the moment the whistle blows, but they will be nervous too. It carries so much significance, this. The players have to get their mentality right. They need to want to win. They need not to fear making what could be the telling error. Those who haven't the mental attitude can go missing on occasions such as this. It is the stars who shine when the stage is at its most lit up. So kickoff is approaching very fast now. There are a few formalities left to finalise. Time to get sat for a classica encounter. The signal Iduna Park located in Dortmund. It really is a tremendous arena. circumstances but you feel the rivalry well exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football Peter and a picture perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention and it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud why let an exhibition match get in the way of that so these two will be going at it very very strongly Already started here. Who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Joshua Kimmich. In many ways, the ultimate modern fullback in that he contributes just as much offensively as he does defensively. He seems to have a great instinctive understanding of when to move forward, and, and that means. Oh, shooting chance! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what 
we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. And that is about as cool as they come. He takes this spot extra. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off, but I think too much about it. It's just what you put through. That was a good example. Great contact with the keeper. Had very good chance. certainly made things interesting. Kimmich. Gnabry. Good challenge. The Portuguese capital city of Lisbon and the northwestern port city of Oporto, representing here different identities and values and cultures, a rivalry between the two big cities of the nation. No surprise then that feelings run high when they meet over a football match. Red on blue and white, eagle on dragon. It doesn't take too much imagination to understand how big this is, fueled by so many factors both on and off the field. It is one of those games in Portuguese cultural and sporting society. Estadio da Luz. The Stadium of Light, certainly one of the most artistic pieces of architecture in the game. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances. I feel the rivalry. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. So we're up and running. You've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? And Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man. And he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. And the scourge of so many strikers. Has a goal! Rafa Silva. Samaris. But options out wide. He's left his man. A real chance. Goal, Porto. Porto are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Yeah, I think for them to get their noses in front away from home was brilliant, but these home fans will demand a response. Looking at the hit! Potential goal of the season contender, if only. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him with the ability he has. He can reproduce. Just brushed off the ball there. Rafa Silva with the foul. has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. 
Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. He's on his way. Thinks he's got rid of that. And that's a throw. Switch to play. Samaris. Benfica are behind here despite their domination of possession. Samaris. They haven't got value for money. I give up. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Plays it out to the wing. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Just a point. Question, that's a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. Silva. Pepe gets it back. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Trying to shot. <laughs> Played it short. Looking for a decent ball in. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it.
Porto are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's a clever use of counter attack. That's the real highlight. defence then, a magnificent effort. And this could be the final action of the first half. Massive leap! And that'll be the last act of the first half. Oh, a really good half of football. Three goals and just one. Well, hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the aerodynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and i'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we'd like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy out as the telling individual today who else but Zlatan Ibrahimovic capable of executing what others are unlikely to even try he functions with a an outrageous edge you know whether you class him as ultra confident or arrogant he knows how to entertain I think the opposition defense agree too he's going to be the source of so many of their headaches Not concerned by that. Ibrahimovic put absolutely everything he had into that. Maybe better look next time. Kessier. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bentancur. Berodersky. Has he picked him out? He's left his man. It's Morata! Just lacked a decent finish. Still a cracking effort. Really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal.
It's still a possession, this, but very little to show for it. Romagnoli. And starting the game at a pretty decent tempo. Hernandez gets it over to the other flank. He's got away. Now the cross. Header! Harmlessly behind. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Morata Ibrahimovic he's played it through oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area he knew what was coming that's the yellow card protest continues but in the end they are defending the indefensible wow. it was deliberate it was cynical you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity but it had to be right from the top draw dispatched expertly nicely done a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Bentang Kors tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Chalandolu. Pretty clear, it is a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Oh, how good is he? That is a gem! An absolute gem! And already they're looking to run away with it. And he's produced a beauty. Milan took a two goal lead should be comfortable from here on in well they're very much the better team at the moment Peter and, and no doubt will be looking to to cause even more damage here plays it through 